What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog, back again. And I got a little history lesson for you guys. So, you all know about our notorious section called uh, the Dog Pound. I'm sure a lot of you have been there, or have seen it. So, anyways, most of you people who probably are younger, have never been to the old, never went to the old stadium, never knew about the old dog pound. Now, a little history lesson for you guys. The dog pound of yesteryear, the old era, when the when it was municipal stadium, when we shared when they shared it with the Indians before the team moved. Well, you know, I've there's recollections of players from opposing teams getting batteries and dog biscuits thrown at them during the games at times. It was getting to the point where the referees, it got so bad to where the referees had to switch. They switched the team that was going towards the dog pound away from the dog pound. Because of how bad it was getting. Like I said, players were getting... There was uh, reports of players getting batteries. Dog biscuits. Dog bones. Those rawhide bones that you give your dog to, to chew on. They were getting those things thrown, on, thrown at them. Now, you think the black hole was crazy. The dog pound of the 80s and 90s and that... That was almost as bad. Granted, now we have all these rules that you can't bring in beer bottles. And that's because of Bottlegate. Now, if you want to know more about Bottlegate, well, pretty much the Browns. Well, this, of course, Bottlegate was after the team came back. So, yeah. Now, um, you guys have realized, now I, I say that because... Most of you will say, you know, look at my new uh, profile picture. I, po I change it every so often. Keep it, you know, let you know I'm active if I'm not making a video or whatever. So most of you will look and say, what do you mean, fear the fans? That's what I'm talking about. Now granted, this day and age, this version of the dog pound is not as dangerous because of rules and the fact that they are way more strict and the fact that all the super fans, the drunk super fans that would normally sit there, have either passed on or they uh, don't go to games anymore. Because the games are too expensive and they don't have the budget to make more than one game. Now you will see um, a few of them there. You'll see uh, crap, Captain Cleveland. You'll see him there. He's actually from my home, my city. He's from... My hometown, which is pretty cool. I think he is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, you'll see like uh, a few other guys there. Sometimes you'll see them. Other times, you probably won't notice them because they're up in the front row. And a lot of guys don't see them. So, anyways, you know, when this team was horrible, I didn't go to a game last year. I wanted to so bad. But... Just couldn't, didn't have the funds and the fact that, well, the team sucked. But with the team looking good this year, I probably will expect to go to a game this coming up year. If you uh, happen to see me, say hi. Say, I, I've seen you from YouTube. I don't know what you mean. You know... Of course, I'll probably ask you if you subscribed. <laughs> no, but literally. So more on the Browns, you know. What was it? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the history of the dog pound. Now, granted, you know, when you're, if you're a fan, if you're a friendly, if you're on the Browns, the dog pound will be right by your side. Give you that, gives you that home field advantage. Now, could you imagine what it would look, what it would feel like? To be going away from the dog pound and have a battery or a dog biscuit thrown at you? Hmm. 
Must be something. Now, granted, obviously, I never saw the, uh, I never even, I never, I never went to the old municipal stadium. Obviously, because I was born the year after the team left, which is very sad. But, I have been to the new stadium multiple times. I mean, I've been there for two regular season games, and a preseason game, and a scrimmage. And I haven't been there since the renovations. I plan on going this year, though. So we'll see how that goes. So I just wanted to put that out there. Little uh, facts for you people who do not know about the Browns' notorious dog pound. Now, Raider fans will say the black hole is better. Well, granted, if we had the old... I mean, we'll see how that goes, but... uh. The old dog pound was right up there with the black hole. I am pretty sure the, you know, the black hole was known for mugging people. You know, the people was known, they were known as thugs. Our people, the dog pound, were known for throwing stuff at you on the field. Literally getting in your head. Throwing batteries, like I said, throwing batteries, dog biscuits, rawhide bones. I'm probably going to go out and say beer bottles sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give put that out there. Um, this video is going to take a long time to load. I just know that. <laughs> so I am going to get going now. And I'll see you all later. Peace.